Hey Taurus, Dana here, Deep Thoughts with Dana. Just a real quick announcement before you watch this video. I want to let you guys know that I'm doing something new. It's called The After Party. So this video that you're about to watch is The Party. <laughs> And after this video, we will all get together for what's called the after party. There will be a link in the box below that will take you to a video that I am doing. I am diving into this King of Wands, diving into this King of Fire. I'm finding out who they are, what they are, what this massive transformation that they're going through is and what it means to you. So after the video, click on the link in the box below, come to the after party and let's dive deep into this king of fire enjoy the video hey taurus dana deep thoughts with dana and these are your deep thoughts for the next couple of weeks for september this is a general tarot card reading for the collective sign of taurus it may resonate with you it may not if it resonates with you awesome if it doesn't resonate with you that's okay too please don't try to make it fit please please don't try to make it fit your situation, okay? Um, it is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, it very well may resonate with you. And I want to give a, a spoiler alert here that this is a continuation of the saga with the King of Wands. If you're new to this channel, um, the King of Wands started to show up in Taurus's readings, my readings for Taurus, in January of this year. And the King of Wands and Taurus have been trying to reunite and reconcile ever since. Um, it's been slow going and it's been some variation of this whole saga in all of our readings. Um, I'm Taurus in all of our readings since January. So Taurus, um, this I do believe is a step up. It is definitely a step up in the situation and um, let's read about it because it's awesome. Hey, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com and we will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Please do not make a life altering decision based on a general tarot card reading. Okay. The generals are honestly just for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Is there a common thread? Yes. Do we recognize ourselves? Yes. Do we, do we relate to it? Yes, but it is not your reading. Everybody is different. Okay. That being said, you may find yourself in the beginning of this reading. You may find yourself pre beginning to this reading right hasn't even happened for you yet you might see this unfolding in your life during the month of september you may be halfway through this reading you may be finished with this reading just depends on your personal thing because every card in this reading is either an emotional physical or mental um um process that we have to do and it just depends on how you process this how the other person processes this and how life events all come together okay so let's do this this is a reading for taurus for the next two weeks okay so the fool card this card kept trying to pop out kept trying to pop out kept trying to pop out it kept putting it back in and then i thought well you know maybe they're trying to tell me something so i took it out and this is going to be the overall energy for this reading this fool card okay the overall energy, new beginning and a new journey. Not only a new beginning and a new journey, but it's also about um, an emotional rebirth, okay? Okay, so what we have here, Taurus, is we open this reading with the magician, manifestation, right? Manifestation, you have manifested by your actions, by your words, by your thoughts and by your feelings you have manifested this reading into your life this magician is clarified by whoops this magician is clarified by the queen of pentacles right this is your feelings she's the queen of love this card talks about emotional security um, being calm cool collective it's fairness and honesty Okay, so you have manifested fairness and honesty into your life. The Eight of Wands, you have manifested movement, change, an energetic shift in this situation. And the Death card comes in and says that you have manifested an ending to what was, 
a change to what will be and a transformation in your life. What you have manifested, Taurus, is what you thought was completely and totally unrealistic with the Six of Cups in reverse. You thought that it was completely and totally unrealistic, clarified by the Lover's card. You thought that there would never, ever be a reconciliation or a reunion in a love situation, but you have manifested it with the Magician. And now you have fairness and honesty with the Queen of Cups. You have an energetic push with the Eight of Wands, and you have a transformation of this relationship with the Death card, the card of Scorpio, right? And I say that because I know a lot of my Tauruses are dealing with Scorpios because I do your readings. <laughs> I know you're dealing with Scorpios. You don't have to be, though. Okay, it doesn't have to be Scorpio. But nevertheless, you have manifested swift change, movement, action, an energetic push to bring things as the way they are now to an ending and, and create a transformation in a love relationship that you thought would never happen again because the Empress is in reverse. This is a creative block. There is nothing being created between the two of you right now, right? Until this manifestation takes place. There was nothing being created between the two of you. Nothing. Because with the Six of Swords in reverse, too much water under the bridge. Just too much, too much baggage, too much water under the bridge, right? To the Ten of Wands. Too much water under the bridge. This whole thing is a struggle and a burden. Just the whole relationship has been a struggle and a burden. And there was, you, there was just, you just thought it was completely and totally unrealistic to ever manifest something in this situation again. But the magician says that you've kept it in your feels with the Queen of Cups, right? You've kept it in your feels because you feel entitled to some honesty and some fairness in this situation, right? Okay, here we are with the Queen of Cups again. This is about your feelings. To the Four of Cups in reverse, your feelings about a missed opportunity your feelings about a missed opportunity. Page of Swords says that you are formulating a decision-making process because a message of creating a new beginning has come in. You've manifested this. A message of creating a new beginning has come into your life because of your manifestation clarified by the Prince of Cups. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. This is somebody who is slowly moving forward, somebody that is in touch with their emotions and their intuition. And this Prince of Cups is bringing you a message of creating a new beginning with the Page of Cups. You are now in the Page of Swords energy, mentally restless, formulating a decision-making process. In the center of your reading is the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords says that you are um, going forward. You are in this Page of Swords energy, formulating a decision-making process in the energy of the Queen of Swords. You're defensive. You're stern, but you're flexible. You're using logic and intellect and not emotion to decipher exactly what's going on in this situation. Because the Nine of Cups in Reverse says that somebody in the past was selfish and there it brought about a tremendous amount of dissatisfaction, okay? Where there was once wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, it turned into selfishness and dissatisfaction. So the Queen of Swords, you Taurus, have your guard up right? And you're trying to disseminate the facts of this situation with logic, reasoning, and intellect, being devoid of emotion and looking at it at face value. 
There he is, the King of Wands. Those of y'all who are new to the channel or just tuning in, this King of Wands has been haunting Taurus readings, Taurus's readings since January of 2019. Okay, has just been haunting Taurus, just haunting us. Uh, this is the, the all of the readings since January have been about reuniting and reconciling with this King of Wands person. Could be an, an, a fire sign, Sag Leo Aries. Um, oftentimes he presents as the Emperor. Could be an Aries. Um, doesn't have to be any of the above at all, okay? But it is somebody who's fiery and passionate, and they definitely ring your bell, Taurus. They definitely ring your bell. So, this message that is coming in from the Prince of Cups about creating a new beginning is from the King of Wands. This Prince of Cups is this King of Wands, right? And Taurus is in the Queen of Swords energy, um, really trying to use mental and not emotions to disseminate what's really happening here. This King of Wands comes in and he tells you that he has had a tower moment an absolute tower moment in his life. It could be upheaval. It could be chaos. It's definitely an epiphany, a revelation and an awakening. So this King of Wands has had some kind of tower moment. And I used my Thoth deck to clarify this tower, okay? The Thoth is very, very different. It's an extremely different deck than anything else. Okay? It has its own meanings and its own interpretation of most of the cards in the tarot deck. Okay, It is tarot. Okay, So this tower moment is clarified by the card of dominion. Okay, So this tower moment that your king of wands has had is clarified by dominion. Dominion is a card of complete and utter destruction to start anew. to a card called prudence and i'm going to cheat on this okay i'm going to look over here at my thought thing and tell you that the card of prudence which is the eight of discs okay this is about this is about the ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason so with dominion being a card of destruction in order to rebuild and the governance of oneself, the governance of oneself by the use of reason, okay? So this says that this tower moment has caused this person to understand that they need to rebuild their life, okay? Rebuild their life and govern themselves in a different way to the Ace of Wands. This is to take inspired action, okay? And they are taking inspired action to the Queen of Cups to share their feelings to the Prince of Discs and move in to the future. So this tower moment that this person had is, it could have been caused by chaos and upheaval in their life. But whatever it was definitely brought about a revelation and an awakening about how they want to handle themselves, their lives, and their future from this point forward. And the way that they want to handle themselves, their lives, and their future from this point forward is to create a new beginning with you. There's this communication that comes in, this message explains why things ended in the past, why either you were forced to walk away, Taurus, or they walked away from you. It explains everything. It explains the conflict, the tension, the loss, the defeat, the betrayal, the mind games that went on between you. It explains everything. They explain themselves, completely and totally explain themselves to you. They explain the third party situation they explain the repressed emotions that they've had about this entire situation all this time. They explain the, um, the abandonment that happened. They explain the, um, why they were hesitant 
they explain everything. They explain that they would like to re-engage and work on your relationship with them. They explain that they have overwhelming emotion for you and much love for you. And they explain their decision-making process. They explain this tower moment. They explain to you how their life needs to be reorganized and restructured. And they want you to be a part of that. That's what they explain. That's what this message of a new beginning is. This is what they're doing. They're bringing this in and they're telling you. They're, they're coming clean all the way around because they've been scraped clean by that tower moment. They've been scraped clean, right? And there's no picking up the pieces and rebuilding with the tower moment. No, when a tower moment happens, you bring the bulldozers in, you scrape that shit clean, and you rebuild. And that's what this person is doing. They are rebuilding their life, and they want you to be a part of it. True. That's what the cards say. So here we go with the King of Wands again, right? We have a King of Wands to Judgment. This King of Wands is coming to you, coming clean about everything, wanting a new beginning and a new journey in this situation. Judgment comes in and, so, and, and reiterates that they've had a rebirth. This King of Wands has had a rebirth in their life and they want a rebirth with you. Clarified by the wheel, a turning point in their destiny, a turning point in your destiny, a turning point in the relationship, and a turning point in the situation all the way around. Engaging, working on it, gaining mastery of it is what they want. The moon card comes in and says that they've dealt with their repressed emotions. They no longer have fear and anxiety and they see things clearly. They want to manifest a brand new beginning with you, Taurus. A brand new beginning. A prosperous beginning. And I asked for a couple of outcome cards, again, from the Toth deck, and we got Lust. Lust is a major arcana. It's called a trump in the Thoth deck. And Lust is about um, a torrid love relationship. It's about a love relationship that is so passionate and so exciting and so all-consuming that it creates death in both of you. It creates death in both of you, the card of Scorpio. It's a relationship that is so... all-consuming that it creates death you die they die the old ways die and there is a personal transformation for each of you there is a personal transformation um, I mean a complete and total transformation of the relationship complete and total so these two cards together lust with death two major arcanas are saying that that this relationship with this person is going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced before. The ways of the past are gone. This person has completely and totally burned down the foundation that they stood on. They bulldozed it, they cleared it, and they're building brand new and they want to build with you in, in such a a relationship that it's 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 a love affair beyond all love affairs and it's going to cause a death for you it's going to cause a death for them it's going to be the death of the situation as you've known it up until now and there is going to be a transformation for you a transformation for them and a transformation of this entire relationship Taurus that is beautiful. That is absolutely amazingly beautiful. Amazingly beautiful. So let's just recap all of this real quick, okay? So the magician says, the magician says, 
the magician says that you've manifested this right how you've manifested this i think is is individual to each and every one of you okay how you have manifested this maybe it was a little bit of communication maybe it was just willing it into your life maybe it was um who knows but you've manifested this into your life taurus you've manifested this into your life because you have feelings not just feelings but you have an intuitive spiritual connection to this person to the eight of wands and your manifestation has created an energetic shift in this situation and perhaps you've manifested this with communication okay maybe you took the first step in bringing this whole relationship back into alignment but nevertheless you have a divine connection with this person and there is an energetic shift happening as we speak that is going to bring an ending to the way that things were and a transformation of you a transformation of them and a transformation of the relationship and i want to point out that this relationship starts with death and ends with death interesting interesting okay so you've manifested this massive huge shift in this relationship and it's interesting because you kind of manifested it with doubt okay doubt that there could ever be anything realistic about reuniting or reconciling with this person but you never gave up you never gave up and you, you they were constantly on your thoughts you probably have some kind of telepathic subliminal communication with this person you feel this person in your soul okay and that's where the manifestation came from they're a part of your fiber right but you thought it was unrealistic to recreate a love situation in any way whatsoever but because you've manifested it and because this is happening this turns in this turns from being unrealistic to reuniting and reconciling in a love situation The Empress from in reverse says that there is zero creation going on right now. Zero creation. You guys probably aren't even talking. Zero creation going on. Because there's a lot of water under the bridge. A lot of water. A lot of baggage. And both y'all not real sure that this is something that could ever be recouped. And the Ten of Wands comes in and says it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. It's been a burden. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups to the Four of Cups in reverse. You have a lot of love for this person, a lot of love for this person, but you chalk it up as a missed opportunity. It's just something that you never thought would ever manifest again. And I almost get the feeling, Taurus, that you were like, just do what you need to do. Go on your journey. Do what you need to do. Make yourself happy. And it was in a sad regretful kind of way but you love this person so much that you're willing to take the hit so they can find themselves lo and behold message of a new creation message of creating a new beginning comes into you Taurus from this person From the Prince of Cups, the metaphorical knight in shining armor, puts you in an energy of the Page of Swords, right? This is you formulating a decision-making process, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm going to retract that statement. This Page of Swords is this Page of Cups, okay? Now, it could still go the way that I read it the first time, but I'm having a bit of an epiphany, okay? So this Page of Swords is this message from the Page of Cups. This is a short, little message, okay? It's a short, little message that comes in that opens the door for this whole reading to take place. 
It's a short message. Maybe it's returned communication from you with that Eight of Wands, right? Don't know. Depends on your situation. But there's short communication that comes in that leads to a message of creating a new beginning with you. Prince of Cups brings his feelings. Brings his feelings. In the center of your reading, you present as the Queen of Swords, right? You're trying to be very intellectual about this whole thing. You're weighing the pros and the cons. You are, um, you're, you're stern but flexible, right? You're, you're, you're making judgments without emotion, okay? You're trying to see this for what it really is because in your heart of hearts and in your mind of minds, you never thought that something like this could happen with this person. In the past, there was wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, but something went terribly wrong, and it turned into selfishness and dissatisfaction. And that's why you're being guarded with the Queen of Swords, right? You're being guarded against, guess who? The King of Wands, this, this Prince of Cups, this, this Page of Cups. Here he is, the King of Wands, right? You're being really guarded because things have gone really, really bad in the past with this King of Wands. This King of Wands comes in and tells you that they've had a tower moment. They've had a tower moment, whether it's upheaval and chaos in their life, or if it was just simply a revelation and an awakening, or if it was upheaval and chaos in their life that created a revelation and an awakening. This King of Wands has had a massive tower moment in their life. The structure, the foundation, the stability of what they were trying to build blew up in their face. Clarified by Dominion. Dominion is a card of absolute utter destruction in order to rebuild and your king of wands is rebuilding their life to prudence prudence is a card about um, the ability to govern yourself with discipline by the use of reason okay so prudence is about your king of wands looking at the picture, looking at the grand scheme of things and, and, and wanting to tell their story to the Ace of Wands. And they're going to. They're taking inspired action towards you, Taurus, to the Queen of Cups because they love you and the Prince of Discs and they want you in their future. That's what this message is. That's what this message of, uh, of creating a new beginning is all about. They tell you why they walked away or why you were forced to walk away. It's all talked about. The five of swords, the conflict, the tension, the loss, the defeat, the betrayal, the mind games, it's all blown open. It's all blown open and laid on the table. The third party situation, it's all talked about. It's all laid on the table. The, rep the repressed emotions, it's all talked about. The hesitancy, the defensiveness, the, the, the fight mode, it's all talked about. Eight of Pentacles, engaging, re-engaging, working on it trying to gain mastery of it. That's what's talked about. The feelings between the two of you, that's what's talked about. And the Princess of Swords, this is the decision-making process that brought this King of Wands to the table. This is talked about. This is going to be the Tower moment. This is going to explain the Tower moment. It's all put on the table and it's all talked about king of wands again this king of wands has made a decision that they want a rebirth in this situation and you Taurus have made the decision that you want a rebirth in this situation and this is a turning point in both of your lives 
in the relationship, in the situation, a turning point in everything. One cycle closing, a new cycle opening. Y'all are going to engage. You're going to work on it. You're going to work together. You're going to build something of substance. And you are going to gain mastery of your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. Everything that happened in this whole situation, you're going to gain mastery of it. And you're going to rebuild it. To the moon card. You're not going to rebuild it. You're going to plow it clean and start again. The moon card comes in, talks about fear and anxiety and dealing with repressed emotions and, and releasing fear and anxiety and repressed emotions in order to manifest a brand new beginning with one another. The two outcome cards being lust and death. Lust is a, an epic, epic love affair, an epic love affair. And death says that you will both die. You're not for real. You will both die. The, 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 who you were to each other is dead. It's ending. There's a change, a transformation of you as individuals and your relationship. Death to the old and life to the new. A transition, a transformation and an epic, epic love affair. There you go, Taurus. That sounds pretty freaking awesome to me. Let's do a Magdalene um, Oracle card, okay? Spirit, thank you for those messages. Thank you for the eyes to see, the ears to hear. Spirit, thank you for, for this message. Thank you for everything. The new beginning, the new journey between the two of you. It's amazing. Spirit, what is an oracle message for Taurus? What are some parting words? I guess that's it. Liberation. 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 Let's read about it. Liberation. Okay. Liberation, Taurus. A person who recently hurt or disappointed you in some way is simply a mirror for the hurt and disappointment you already held inside. All the events of your life, regardless of whether you label them good or bad, are simply acts of love. The hurt or disappointment you now feel is an opportunity for you to examine what it is that you don't love about yourself. It's safe for you to open your heart. Love yourself as you are and stop placing unreasonable expectations on yourself. Through self-acceptance comes a newfound sense of freedom, which transforms the way you see life and the world around you. If that doesn't resonate, you ain't been listening. <laughs> there you go, Taurus. That is your reading for the first couple of weeks of September. If you would like a personal reading from me for you, just for you, just for your situation, there is a link in the box below. Namaste. Taurus, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just a quick reminder to come on over to the after party and let's dive in deep to this King of Wands. Click the link in the box below.